Hello everybody, Michael is here and I'm gonna go right into installing MariaDB server and I'm going to start it up with uh, the included uh, terminal client uh, and I'm gonna configure that so that the MariaDB server is started in a manual way uh, using Windows services. So follow me and let's go. So I'm here at MariaDB download and I guess we could just MariaDB download, download. I do hope that that usually takes us to the right place. Yes, it did. Okay, excellent. So there we go. I have already sort of downloaded this. So I got the currently today, this is the latest version and it detects I'm a Windows and I'm gonna go with that architecture. So I have the installation program downloaded. So let's just go ahead. Let's grab MariaDB onto my computer. So what do I want to have here? I really do not want to have this third party tools. I just want a simple get the database server and the terminal client, uh, install development components. No, I don't need that. But I do want to have the um, backup utility. Do I that? Well, anyway, let's get that. I want to have the client programs and I, yes, I do want to have the database. So I think that is enough. This is also a good uh, always check the location so you know that whenever you want to sort of add this location into your uh, sort of path to make it easier to run. So I'm just going to go there. Okay, thank you. Let's go. I'm just going to add uh, pass as my password here. It's my own uh, computer. It's locked in here. Really doesn't uh, differ. So I... Maybe, should I enable access from remote machines for the root user? Should I use... No, I I skip that. And I, I want to go with the default setup for this. So then I, I can patch it later on. Uh, I want to install it as a Windows service. And I'm going to go in there and configure it to start manually. And yes, we're going to use the TCP port 3306. So it's the MariaDB port. Same port as MySQL, of course. 3306. I really don't care about these settings. And let's just go on and install the stuff. So, okay. It's already done. Nice. So hopefully I got a database up on my system. So, should we check it out? Uh, I'm going to go here and hope that my ADB has installed some uh, utilities to me. And I find the MySQL client, MariaDB. We have to get used to that we occasionally see MySQL here when we use MariaDB, <laughs> vice versa. But they are sort of a stand-in for each other. MariaDB is a sort of a, a branch from MySQL and they seemingly, they, they work very much exact the same way, but more and more I can, I can see that the, the later versions in MySQL, of course, because they, they were sort of first and then they're run by Oracle and they take in their own way. But also MariaDB is sort of adding features that is not in MySQL and vice versa. So they are sort of digressing small things, but uh, usually we don't sort of notice. But uh, it's good to sort of, well, have control of it. Well, whatever. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to open the terminal client just to see that it works. So I'm going to go in there with my password. Excellent. And I'm going to show my databases and they are all here for databases. Nice. And I can see the server version up there and everything. So that seems to work. A final thing before we stop, I just want to see here on, um, I'm going to go open the services app. So this is 
uh, Windows services or if all the services in the background are configured here. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to write down MariaDB and here is the server. So I can stop it, restart it. I'm going to double click on it because I want to configure it. So it's going to start in a manual way. So this way I will be able so we have it running and manual because this way it's um, I can control what I start up on my machine and I want to have both MySQL and MariaDB running on the same machine here so I need to be in control on what sort of database server is up and what is down and I do not want to that they are started in an automatic way when I uh, reboot my system uh, taking up the resources and so. So, excellent. MariaDB is there. We can see that I have a, uh, well, client working. Fine. Let's just uh, be happy with that. And see you soon again in another video. Bye-bye.